Nej. I forget. I left that up. <laughs> Go me. What's up, everybody? Rage Cage 20. We are back with Otep's Ascension album today. We have Breed. And at the end of the last video, if you caught that, I claimed that I had never heard this Nirvana song before. At least I didn't think I had. So I went and listened to it like I said I would. Turns out I have heard this song before. Uh, I've heard more Nirvana songs than I thought I have. So, yeah. Interesting. So, uh, yeah. Right when I heard the da na 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 I was like, oh yeah. No, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I know the song. And I immediately thought, I can't. I, I, I think Otep can do some crazy shit with this song so pretty excited for that if you can't tell my voice is a little ragged it's a little more uh lower pitched and rumbly than usual i think it's because i did a i've done quite a bit of recording the last two days and whatnot so i'm gonna try not to push myself too far but uh voice is definitely rumbly my throat feels fine though at least for now so should be good Anyways, it actually has an official music video attached to it. It looks like lyrics are on the screen. So that's what it looked like when it was zipping through it. Uh, you know, when you hover over the thumbnail and it starts showing bits. Yeah, that thing. Uh, so this should be fascinating, to say the least. Of course, it is, you know, just like all the other ones. I don't know what the what the max is here. A 40, 480p. I think that's a little bit better than the last one. So, that's good. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. These uh, these older videos that were not re uh, re uploaded with better quality. Yeah, you know, it happens. So, breed the Nirvana cover by Otep. Oh yeah, I gotta get used to writing again. Since I've been doing stitches, I have not been writing like anything. So I gotta get get back in the habit of that. We'll see how. Well, hopefully, it'll, it's like riding a bike. We'll never forget.
finish writing this here. Uh, should ha yeah, I will be confused if I don't finish that. <laughs> I'll still be confused. Uh, chances are I'll still be confused. All right, that one was pretty good. That was pretty good there. Um, I I I really enjoyed the instruments throughout that song. I I thought that I thought I think they they did a great job with uh with, Nir with Nirvana's version of that instrumentally for sure. Uh, I love how they took it and made it a little I think made it at least a little bit heavier. Uh but still kind of kept it kind of true to that grunge nature. Um which was really that's really really cool. It, it, it I I felt it was a little weird that it didn't it didn't really feel like the vocals came online um, until around two-ish minutes into the song. I thought that was a little weird. Like, I liked that, you know, I, I didn't want, I, I wanted her to, to, to make it, like, very true to Kurt Cobain's way he that he wrote it and sang sung sing sung it because you know i didn't want her come in like screaming the whole thing that would have been felt kind of weird just like oh it's just like a death metal version yeah you know that would have been a little so i'm glad that she she kept it true hold on however i was looking for a little bit more of her flavor on it and it felt even maybe even a little watered down even compared to the way that kurt did it um for at first you know for for for, for good minute or two there and then she started putting a little bit of her fl flair on it which was like yes that's the that, that's what i was looking for that's what i wanted but she did it so late into the song that it just kind of felt like oh now she's finally turned on the vocals and finally came alive that was a little weird for me not bad didn't ruin it by any means i still thought it was a great cover it was just like i finally got some of what i was looking for and it's just like is it a little too late now, or you know? Uh, but we, we we can go over that a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Maybe maybe it was there, and I was just wasn't fully he focusing in on it because I was blown away by the uh, the instruments and whatnot. Very possible, but yeah. Besides that, really cool. And then you know, as as it continued to get closer and closer to the end of the song, we got more and more. Of that kind of Otep flavor in there, which I thought was really cool, especially at the end where it just kind of seemed to like break and just like distort away, and just kind of really had that Otep sound to it. Really cool that it starts out very clean, uh, Nirvana, and then becomes more and more Otep as the song goes along. I think that's an insanely cool effect. Um, however, I could have used a little bit more Otep at the beginning, which is like slightly more. But, you know, minor detail, really. Just a minor detail there. Pretty fucking cool. Let's, uh, let's, let's move forward here to we'll go like five, start at five seconds in here. Just gonna grab some water. Gotta keep this rumbly voice ready to go. All right. Uh, first thing I have here, um, is around a minute in however i'm just gonna want to look at this whole intro section again i loved that they defined what nirvana is um what the definition of the word that the band is in the beginning of the song that's pretty fucking cool i ain't gonna lie that's pretty fucking cool i liked that effect there uh and with this little girl that has blonde hair much like otep does I really, I know I've said this a couple times in the past videos, but I really feel like there's some, I don't, I don't know anything about, um, Dr. Was it, yeah, Dr. Otep Shamaya Esquire. I don't, I don't know a lot about her, anything about her, honestly. Um, but I feel like there might've been some trauma in the early stages of her life. And I feel like she's like, giving us glimpses of that in these some of these videos 
Um, so, like, I mean, that's just a theory. I have no idea. But, like, when I was looking at this video, I was like, is that supposed to be her? And is she trying to tell us something? It seems a little dark, you know, with the title Breed and just this little girl just, like, not being okay or something, destroying stuff. Like, are you trying to tell us something? What happened to you? Like, <laughs> But as, as all could just be grasping at straws and none of it could just be accurate um it could just be her own personal beliefs of something else completely have nothing to do with her so i don't fucking know but uh, i was just I'm a little nervous but uh, i love this beginning here Nirvana. It, it's, it has this very almost trippy kind of atmosphere just created at the beginning this kind of almost hallucinated tone to it and just kind of freeness to the sound but also has a little bit of this tension to it as well that like something fucked up is happening very very interesting background sounds to define this definition The external well that is definitely very um um i don't think i don't think nirvana comes from buddhism itself i'm sure it's a term that's used uh i would my guess would be pretty frequently in both buddhism and uh hinduism uh, would would be my guess or whatnot. Um, so the use of the words like external world and whatnot is like, as it's very like deep is the first thing that came to mind. But like, you know that kind that kind of oh god, the words at the tip of my tongue. Um, I, I'm gonna say philosophical for lack of better uh, terminology. Uh, it's very deep and philosophical and just. Like, it just kind of really brings home this message at the beginning. I think it's a really cool start to the song. And this guitar and drum. That fucking roll. Just. Oh, yeah. That. It's, it's like. It's definitely like metal meets grunge. And I'm loving this marriage that's happening right here. That bass though. Hell yeah, dude. That's like a beautiful marriage between like metal and grunge there. And it just oh it has that deeper, kind of darker metal sound to it, but it has that fast paced, kind of distorted grunge nature to it. it As a beautiful marriage between the two of those I love this intro. It just gives you like headbanging and just into it right out the gate. So the first thing we got out here, let's see here, around approximately 55 seconds in, so we're just going to let it keep rolling out here. Um, I said voice echo. Uh, I think she was uh, repeating. I think she had herself layered twice in the mix, and the the uh, the other voice was kind of like e echoing what she was saying, like, you know, saying it along with her. I think that's what I was talking about there. We'll remember here. But... Um, <clears throat> what, what kind of what I was talking about at the beginning to where it was just like it didn't have enough of that OTEP flair to it. I was kind of looking, uh, I was kind of looking for that kind of like a scream, like a little bit, like not necessarily full on vocal fry metal scream, but you know, just kind of more aggression and, uh, um, just kind of angst in the voice when I don't know I don't know if he holds out ghost it sounds like he's saying yeah before he goes into the even if you have even if you need into the chorus and whatnot I was looking for a little bit more there but we'll talk about that when, when we get there uh, but the, I, I like the, uh, the, the, the voice echo as I called it in here
Yeah. I like it because, it's, again, it's adding a little bit of that, that OTEP flavor in there. And I, I mentioned this later, that uh, around 150, when it happens again, that it's kind of like a like a, a slight scream echo kind of going on underneath it. I like, I like this double sound that's coming on in here. Yeah, it is ghost that's being held out. Uh, yeah, but it's just so it just felt so so light, just ghost. <laughs> you know, like no, it's not like a lot of energy to it. I was expecting more, just yeah, just kind of something like yeah, really pushing into the chorus, and it was felt very light and very monotone. I don't feel like until later, around two minutes in, did we actually get that like energy push into there um and i i can't remember how it goes in the original song i don't know if that's like verbatim exactly the energy and, and whatnot was pushed into it even if it was i was again looking for more of that otep taste in there and give it a little bit more just uh, some angst some push some energy aggression into there it just felt a little light to me but you know again not bad didn't kill it it's still pretty awesome It's like trying to have that with that like that echo that I was talking about, that kind of light. It has a little bit of a scream to it, but like it's so quiet and under every under the mix so much that it doesn't really give that push support to the main voice in there. It's just it's just it's it's very light. And even in here, I feel like I can't I can't remember how Kurt does it, but I feel like this part could have some more angst and energy in it, in it as well. Like I feel like it could be really pushing and kicking harder, and it feels a little light to me. And I and I'm gonna lie to you. I'm looking for a little bit more kind of frying of the vocal cords in here just a little bit more just just oomph to it you know i don't know i don't know it's just me personally but you know it's all right yeah it feels like going from the chorus back into the verse is the same exact tone same exact energy there's no there's no separation. We're not getting a. I'm not getting. Me personally, at least, I'm not getting a big enough contrast between. Yes, this is the energy bump and pushing chorus, back into the verse. Not getting a separation there. It's all the same, <laughs> and that, that I feel like. I don't know. I feel like that uh, musically, that's rubbing me a little bit the wrong way. But again, not enough to ruin anything. Not enough to. Not enough to be like ah, not a great cover. Still a great cover. Just. I was looking for that separation there, and I did not get it. It's just around my ears a little bit wrong. Anyways, let's jump to around 145 here and see if it if if there's any difference in between the first time and the second time that I wrote down. If I just didn't hear it the first time or not uh, with the screen. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. I just didn't. Uh, I just didn't hear it uh, the first time, and then I picked it up the second time, so there you go. Uh, around 210, I said change up, a little bit of a change up plus scream, and then it continued to get a little heavier or something. I think that's what the other plus means. Um, so I, th I think this is when it, it started to change up. We started to get more OTEP in here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they changed up. I think I think the way the original did it, but I'm not 100 percent positive because again, I don't hear it all the time. And when I listen to it, to remind myself what the song was, I was I was 
couple weeks ago, so I can't really remember. But I don't remember it picking that up faster there, so I think that's a little bit of a change. She said, she said, she said. Yeah, that! You see that? Like, even just a little bit of the extra kind of grit she put in her voice, I would have been fine with, but that kind of slide into that scream. Like, yeah, that's the kind of grunge, fuck yeah, energy that I'm looking for in this song. Like, you know, like if we finally hit it two-thirds of the way through the song. Um, yeah, now that's that's what I'm fucking talking about. Getting a little bit of that OTEP taste in there. A little bit of a, a little change of, like, that's that's what I was looking for for the beginning. But I'm glad that we got it. Hell yeah. yeah. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Alright. And the guitar solo was awesome as well. Uh, we're going to push it a little bit forward here. Around 250. Those drums that came in was pretty fucking awesome. And just this whole outro in general. We're just going to let it go through. was pretty awesome. Yeah, we don't have Listen to those drums. They just start fucking kicking it. They just start kicking in there. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. We're getting more of that OTEP taste in there. That's what I'm talking about. I love this. The farther it continues along, the more OTEP it becomes. It's pretty awesome. And then you do that with like that kind of scream in there. Like it feels like it's like melting and breaking away and just decaying on itself. It's pretty cool. The drums are fucking filling like crazy. And that, yeah, the last good almost feels like it was a, like a kind of in there. That's kind of cool. That's why I didn't. I was like, I didn't notice, I was like, did they say good at the end there? I didn't notice it because that just punched there. Cool. I like that. I like that. That's pretty cool. And it just kind of melts and dissolves away. That, well, that was a good cover. That was a really good cover there. I, I feel like I could have used a little more angst, a little more aggression to it. Like, not, not a lot. Like, mind you, I'm not, I'm not saying that the whole thing should have just been crazy screaming, pushing energy or anything. Like, I really liked, um, I, I was, I was totally, totally okay, um, with the whole verse, technically. It's a verse, even though it's, it's a lot of repeated words, but, you know, it's Nirvana, it's awesome. Um. <clears throat> throughout the whole first verse I was, I was I was totally okay with that like the drums and the instruments and everything were just k kicking ass so it was creating that energy I feel like I could have used a little bit more kind of that just natural decay sound that uh, that Otep puts on her vocals and a lot of her songs kind of at the end of the words on like hair just kind of this that, that kind of bitey decay sound on it but I'm okay with her keeping it very true to uh to kurt's version i'm definitely okay with that uh the only the only thing that i would really say like was really missing that i already mentioned is kind of that that push uh, a heavier push more scream kind of push into the chorus and a little bit more angst and aggression in the chorus but besides that i think that was i was a perfect cover right there that was that was it was a really really good cover right there i like that what do we got next here? There we go. March of the Martyrs. That sounds fascinating. It starts out with parentheses here. Suffer, suffer, suffer. I, 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 I imagine that will be. Excuse me. I imagine that will be uh, spicy. That <laughs> should be very spicy. I imagine aggressive, but you never know. I have been surprised by uh, Otep before 
what I thought was going to be a super aggressive song was very beautiful and uh, passionate. So you never know. But uh, yeah, it's looking like it's going to be uh, spicy and aggressive. So I mean, pretty standard Oak Tip. So come back, join me for it, and I will see you all next time.